beautiful things. Tatpaschat Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnupad Astutra Tividanta Swami Maharaj Evam Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnupad Astutra My obeisance to my Guru Devs, to all Maharaj present here. To all of the Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, the mothers, all of those eager to listen to Harikata, to the feet of everyone, please accept my Dandavat pronouns accordingly. Very beautiful Harikata we were listening. Our Prabhupada Charan Shripad Gobindu Maharaj, he spoke very beautiful, very nice language. He spoke, established all the uh, philosophies of the scriptures to us. How in Kali Yuga we can attain God by Nam Sankirtan. Shrimad Bhakta also gives evidence. Kita Yuga means in Sata Yuga people used to live for a long time. So so the environment, the food was so good at that time, people could meditate and could concentrate a lot their mind. But in Kali Yuga, we cannot meditate. But in Sata Yuga, yes. In Kali Yuga, it's not possible. You sit down for meditation, but your mind goes where? When you chant your Gayatri Mantra, Om Buruba, at the beginning of Gayatri Mantra, already you feel so much sleepiness. And your mind is without passport, without visa, without ticket, like <laughs> traveling through the whole world, isn't it? In England, America, everywhere, your mind is going and then come back again, and going and coming back. So yeah, in Kali Yuga, to meditate is not possible. Not possible to meditate in Kali Yuga, it's not possible. In Treta Yuga, like uh, people do, what? Fire sacrifice. Ramachandra for 11,000 11, years, he performed fire sacrifice. But in Kali Yuga, it's very hard to do fire sacrifice. Maharaj was saying, even the proper ingredients for fire sacrifice you cannot get. And if you get, then the ni nice Brahman you cannot get. Or maybe you can get nice Brahman, but not the nice, you're not, not, not in the nice place, not in the nice, um, like for example, you need to do a fair sacrifice, but maybe you are also not good. Maybe the Brahman is okay, even the ingredients are okay. Even the place of the sa fire sacrifice is okay, but you are not proper person. So, like, very hard. So it was so nice to hear Maharaj speaking, I, I became so happy. So, so, so there's a word called Puro, uh, Jajaman. Jajaman means, for example, uh, your father dies, so you call a Brahmana for him to do the Pinda done for you, to the oblation for your father. So Brahmana is the priest and you are the Jajaman. I don't know proper English word, maybe you can say maybe client or maybe like you are sponsoring that fire sacrifice or that fire sacrifice is actually for you but the Brahman is only performing it for you so this word is judgment so Gurudev is saying I don't know proper translation and Gurudev is saying um, ah, when you you call a Brahman to perform fire sacrifice for you right so in the beginning already you say Brahman but how long this fire sacrifice will last for how long oh my three hours Oh my, three hours, I need to go to work, I need, I need to take the train. 
Please finish quickly. In one hour, finish quickly, okay? So it's possible to perform fast sacrifice in this condition, you tell me? Also Archana, okay? In the Opera Yuga, so there was Archana going on. But in Kali Yuga, not possible to perform Archana. Because the ingredients for Archana, these ingredients are not proper in Kali Yuga. So in Kali Yuga, only Nama Sankirtan. In Kali Yuga, no need to do anything else. Just chant holy names. Just have faith. In chant, everything is possible by chanting. But you don't have faith, right? But the day you really have faith, then... You see Haridas Thakur, he was chanting. Three, ra three legs. How do you know? Well, uh, 64 rounds, you chant very loudly. Hare Krishna. One more 64 rounds, he used to chant Upamsu. Means very softly. Only his lips were moving. Like very uh, softly saying, very not loud. And one more leg, one more 64 rounds, only in his mind. Mahaprabhu himself told. When Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri, in the time of Chaturmasya, the Brahmanas, they were respecting so much Mahaprabhu and saying, Prabhu, please come every day to my house to take prasadam. So they used to invite Mahaprabhu. Please eat my, in my house, take prasadam in my house. Then Mahaprabhu used to say what? I only lit in the house of Lakshapati. Lakapati. Lakapati, Mahaprabhu told this. I only eat in the house of Lakapatis. Lakshapati. Laksha means also 100,000, like thousands, thousands. So also means somebody who has thousands of money, like a really rich person. But the Brahman is told, but we are so poor. But nowadays, 100,000 rupees, this is nothing. Like there's not so much value of money, not at all. But at that time, hundreds of thousands of rupees was like so much, like trillionaire. <laughs> Nowadays, one like rupee, hundred thousand rupees was is nothing. But at that time, when Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri, it was five hundred years ago. Okay. So. So, uh, they're thinking, oh, so we'll never be able to receive Mahaprabhu in our house because we don't have this money. But Mahaprabhu explained, what is the meaning of Lakshapati, 100,000? means those who are one-pointed, mind one-pointed in Bhagavan, chanting the holy names. In the Upadeshamta, the Rupa Goswami told how we should chant holy names. Mahaprabhu also said, one lakh means a hundred thousand means your mind should be completely absorbed in the chanting of holy names. Oh, not only chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Ah, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you going? Like speaking, mountain talk while you're chanting. This is not hard enough. You have to chant one pointed sitting alone, mind concentered, like sitting in one place, like just concentrating your mind in the chanting. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said, how to chant, there's a process of chanting. How we should chant holy names? Maharaj told that uh, uh, holy name is, is all in all in Kali Yuga. The fruit that you can get in Sata, Treta, and Dwapar, Yuga, in Kali Yuga, only by chanting the holy names, you can get even much more. 
But how to chant holy names? We must know this. How to chant? Right? Mahaprabhu told how to chant the holy names to get our cherished goal. Krishna Prem. What is the process of chanting like this? Trinanda Pisunichana. Bhakti Thakur, in a beautiful way, in very simple way, he described in this Bengali verses. He explained to us. How to chant? Like Bhakti Vinod Thakur said the same thing of Trinada Pishunechana, but in these verses in Bengali, like you have to chant feeling tolerance, not want it, does, uh, not without desire for your own name, fame, reputation. You have to um, to have compassion, all this, tolerance. Dainya and humility. Dainya doya anyaman pratishta varjan. And your mind should be focused, one-pointed, without any offense. Have to chant your names without offense. Guru Dev told. There are ten kinds of offenses, and Gurudev says we have to chant giving up the offenses. Then the threefold miseries will be far from us. Anal means the fire. So we have to power pour water in the fire. Because actually we are burning in these material miseries. Adidavik, Adidate, Adibotic. We are burning in this threefold miseries, adhyatmic, adhidevic, adhibotic. And we have to chant the holy names and pour the water in this fire of these miseries. What happened to the video? Something happened, I don't know, I'm not able to open the video. <coughs> Rade. So we are burning in the threefold miseries. But if we chant the name of Krishna, what will happen? The threefold miseries will be far from us. Maharaj told this very beautiful kata. I felt so much happy listening to Maharaj. Chanting holy names, when the offenses will be far from us, and then finally we will be able to speak uh, Shudanam, the pure holy names. What will happen to us at that time? That we sing, chant Shudanam. Even Vrata Sapyanama Priyanama Kriti. When the Shudanam appears in our heart, Shudanam will come in our tongue. And it, 
And then we'll start dancing. We'll start to dance so much at the time. Always crying, rolling on the ground, sometimes rolling on the ground. You know, because of the prema, you'll be ex crying out. Ha Krishna, Ha Krishna, crying and crying. In all the best times of Lord, His qualities, His form, everything will come in your heart. So I am saying this. Mahaprabhu himself said, how to chant holy names. How to chant holy names. Bhagavan. So I am saying this, Mahaprabhu himself said, how we should chant the holy names. So by meditation, by sacrifice, archan, you can get all this fruit by only chanting the holy names. Especially in Kali Yuga, Mahaprabhu gave a A very special potency in the holy names in Kali Yuga. Mahaprabhu invested all his potency in the holy names. In the second verse of Shikshastaka, it's explained. Lord invested all his potencies in his holy names. There are no rules for chanting, but our misfortune that we don't have taste for chanting. Mahaprabhu mercifully, he's saying, Fire on me, fire on me, my life is fire on me, fire on me. I'm ruined because I cannot chant the holy names. I, I don't want to chant. God is so merciful. He put all his potency in the holy names. In other yugas, the holy name was not so as powerful as it is in Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga, Bhagavan put all his potency in the holy names. In Hindi, they say, Hari Sebara, Hari Kanam. Holy names is higher than Sri Hari. Holy names is higher than Sri Hari. There is no difference between holy names and Sri Hari. But still, holy names is even more special. All the potency is in the holy names. All the potency. So look. Ravan took Sita where? Lanka. Very far. Across the ocean. Brought her to the island in Lanka. Ramachandra, with his monkey's army, he made a gigantic bridge to cross the ocean. And the bridge was made with stones. And the stones, they were brought from very far away, from the Himalayas. But look, Hanuman, with the Hanuman and Nal Nil, they're only with Nalanil, the help of Nalanil, they are just touching the stones and saying, Jai Sri Ram, and the stones were floating. You see the glories of the name of Ram. You can see in the TV. In the TV, they say they were, you know, in the TV, they show that the monkeys were writing the name of Ram in each stone and then throwing. Then the stones were floating. But Gurudev told, this is not true. Why? Because there were thousands and thousands and thousands and millions, I don't know, of stones. So how possible to right each and every stone. They are just throwing and saying Jai Sri Ram and then the stone was floating. Just uh, chanting the name and throwing the stone and then the stones were floating. Then they made the beautiful bridge. Then Ramachandra and Lakshman, they were at the banks of the ocean and they were saying, oh, they are throwing the stones 
chanting our name, my name, and then the stone is floating, so nice, amazing. Bhagavan was thinking, amazing. Throwing, chanting my name, then Ramachandra thought, I also will take a stone and try to throw it in the water to see if it will float. But if I throw it in front of everyone, and imagine if the stone just sink, what will happen? It will be very ashamed, uh, shameful for me. So you know what Bhagavan Ramachandra did? He went a little bit afar and then he took one stone and threw it on the ocean, water of the ocean. You know, when the stones they are uh, sinking, dunking the water, some bubbles come, like blah, 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 blah. Like a bubble coming. So the stone is coming down, some bubbles are coming up because of the stone moving inside the water. Then Hanuman came. Hanuman came and told Prabhu, <coughs> What Lila you're doing? <coughs> then Ramachana told hey, Hanuman, Everybody's taking my name, throwing, throwing the water, and the water is floating. But I am throwing the water, the water is sinking, the, sorry, the stone is sinking and the bubbles are coming. Just like, like when somebody is angry, the person is always like, like this. So the stone is sinking, dunking the water and also like throwing these bubbles at me, like the stone is not, didn't like what I did. So why this is happening? Hanuman told Prabhu, look, because if you throw someone far from your lotus feet this person will never be able to float in the ocean of material existence Hanuman gave a beautiful logic Wh what Hanuman told he said Prabhu there's no difference between you and your holy names if Sanjeeva goes far from you the person will never be able to float or to cross the ocean of material existence. Hanuman, then Maharamachan said, Hanuman, this is true. So what is the meaning? What is the teaching? If we don't sh take shelter of Bhagavan, if we're in the shelter of Bhagavan, Maya cannot do anything towards us. That's why Tulas Das, he told one verse. The meaning of this verse, you know, you know the stone mill, stone mill, stone mill is one kind of ancient mill that is made for um, grinding, like a grinding stone, or grinding stone or stone mill, you can say, that it's uh, made of two parts, I mean two stones that will, by there's some engine and they are like stuck together and if you move one engine, they will uh, grind the thing by the movement of the stone. So this is called grinding stone, stone mill. Some circle shape of some stones. But in the middle there is like an X, axis, like a middle. So there is one, one stone under, another stone up in this uh, grinding stones this stone mill and they have some engine which is like in the middle like some axis some middle part connecting these things yeah yeah like a mohinji pedder i think so yes so you put the like uh, grain that you want to grind like a wheat or something rice and you put in the middle like this and then you move this like this engine or the stones and they will grind and make the powder like the, the flour of that thing whatever you put in the middle they'll become completely meshed and will become a powder you know like a flour but but some kinds of grains like for example uh, even chickpea or rice 
I mean, it doesn't matter which kind of grain, but when you are doing these movements to grind the things, some grains, sometimes they go to one part of this engine. Engine, I mean, this grinding stone, this uh, stone mill. There is one part of it, of it that is, um, I think, near the axis, they will say, that if some, some grains fall there, if any grain falls there, the grain will not be crushed will not be crushed and it will be able to remain without becoming powder. Maybe two, four grains. So it's amazing. You were moving, moving that engine, but they are not crushed if they stay in the, if accidentally they fall in that part. So this is what the name of Bhagavan, God. If you take shot of Bhagavan, Maya will not cr crush you. This material world will not mash you, you know, and finish you. Tulas Das told this verse. The name of Ram. I'll just tell this and finish. Tulas Das told in this verse the names of Ram is uh, so name of Ram is the is the uh, digit Sanka means number like how many numbers do you know? Gurudev is asking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9 plus 0 actually there are only 9 you can see in your mobile there's only 9 digits but also zero is there, right? So one from nine is sanka, it's called like maybe number you can say, and zero has no value. Zero has no value, right? But if you put the zero, if you put only number one with a zero and it's 10, one more zero, it's 100. The more zeros you put, the more that it was increasing 10, 10 times, isn't it? It's zero increases ten times. So the names of Brahm is the digit. It's like the digit in the number in the left side. And all the zeros of a number, for example, ten, ten thousand, twenty thousand, the, all the zeros are, are the sadhanas. Any practice, any uh, thing that you're doing in your spiritual thing, these are the zeros. And but the name of Ram is the number. So even if you do so many things but you're not chanting holy names, it's useless. Everything is compared to zero. Because with, because of the number in the left, everything has a value. Without the number, nothing has a value. Like 10, 10,000, 20,000. Without the number in the beginning, everything is only zero. So, if we are uh, catching ourselves tightly, like holding tightly to the feet of Rama and Krishna, means to the holy names of Rama and Krishna, if for means if you are chanting holy names, Maya will not, never, do anything to, against you. So, we have to chant the names of Rama and Krishna. In Kali Yuga, only Nam Sankirtan. So, in this way, I stop my speech. Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyasha.